I'm looking for Mithrain, and you're joining me for Passport to Romance, Chapter 10. Squad goals. A ship in the harbor is safe, but it is not what ships are built for. John A. Shen. Morning after your club outing. You wake to a blaring alarm that feels like it's pounding directly against the inside of your skull. Oh, please, tell me it's not morning already. It's not morning already. Make it stop. Oh no, that was our backup alarm. We slept through all the others. I mean, it's going to be late. I'm gonna be what? A very frantic 30 minutes later. You and your friends arrive at the stadium in record time, all of you still bleary-eyed and dragging from the night before. We made it, with time to spare. Before the game, but not before warm-ups. Coach is gonna kill me. No way. Girl, you're too talented to fire. It'd be a crime to kick such a beautiful clay in the face of Too talented to be fired. Gone. You've never actually seen me play. Sure I have on my two. If you play even half as well today as you do in your highlight videos, the dragons would be crazy not to keep you. I appreciate the vote of confidence, John, but I don't think that's gonna help me today. You hurry to the team entrance before you get a chance to wish him eat luck as coach bots you and strides over to you living. Kabaz! Where the hell have you been? Sorry, coach, I... Did you forget that they determines whether or not the dragons keep you on the team? Of course not, coach, I... So you just decide you were untouchable and didn't have to bother showing up on time? Please, sir, it's our fault and was late. It... Is your name Kabaz? Uh, no, sir. I don't know who these people are, but if they made you late to the game, I suggest you get better friends. Now get in the locker room before I kick you off the team right now. Ah, uh, yes, sir. I mean, he hurries off and his coach gives you an all an evil eye before striding after him. Well, that could have gone better. I feel terrible. We shouldn't have stayed so long at the club last night. Hey, if those crazy fans hadn't tried to mob I mean, we wouldn't we could have gotten back in plenty of time. Well, followers, we finally get to see Amid play, but it looks like we've gotten him off on the wrong foot. New comments. Oh no, poor Amid. You guys gotta do something to help. You should get team apparel. Seeing you in the stands with this jersey will totally make him feel better. I mean, it's the least you could do after getting him in trouble. Yeah, unless you have no money. Mm, it's not a bad idea. Hold out your phones, your friends can read the comments. Yes, that's brilliant. Team apparel is definitely the answer. After stopping at a coffee cart for caffeine and pastries, you head to one of the apparel shops inside the stadium. Marissa makes a beeline for one of the racks and within seconds pulls out a dragon jersey with a look of triumph. Here, John, this is perfect. You have to try it on. Oh, it's even a meat jersey. Wear this jersey to impress your followers and help me during the game. 25 diamonds, no thank you. I think I'll just stick to cheering really loud. Can't go wrong with that. You and your friends make your way to the seats for the start of the match. All around you a sea of dragons, fans buzz with anticipation. Several fans are your group as you take your seats. Hey, who are you cheering for? It better not be Berlin. Oh, no, dragons all the way. Yeah, we're here to see a meat play. Oh, this is where you are now. Meat Kalmaz? He wasn't even on the field for warm-ups. I'm sure he's playing today. I guess we'll see. I really hope we didn't get a meat in too much trouble. As long as he plays well, I'm sure he'll be fine. Speaking of which, does anybody know what position Amit plays? I keep forgetting to ask. I think he's a... Uh, defender. Quarterback, no. Striker. I think he's a striker? Right? I'm impressed you knew that. I thought Americans were hopeless when it came to football. Oh, it's clever! Hey, not all of us. Wait, what is a 
striker do? I thought football was just forwards, midfielders, and defenders. Uh, striker is one of the forwards. And basically, their job is to try and get in scoring position as often as possible. That is very accurate. I know, that's why I said it. Let's hope he gets lots of goals today. I wouldn't be surprised if he does. I mean, it might be a rookie, but he's one of the best school scores I've ever seen. Wait, you've seen a meet play before? Not in person. I looked up clips of his games after we met. Amid has been one of the top scorers in the Dragons this season. Personally, I think they'd draft him. They'd be draft to cut him. No arguments here. Around here, the crowd erupts into cheers as the players take their positions for the start of the game. Here we go, followers. The game is on. Everybody, cheer for our favorite player. Amid, Amid, Amid! Let's go, Dragons! Let's go, Dragons! Woo! Let's go, Amid! Score all the goals! Let's go, Kabal! Hey, look! There's Estevo and Gale! Go, party buddies! Samir claps quietly as a referee signals the start of the game. Aw, oh, come on, Samir. You can do better than that. I'm not sure yelling in public is really my thing. I think yelling at sporting events is everyone's thing. Just wait till the game gets going. We'll make a hooligan out of you yet. We'll see. A Berlin player takes the kickoff to start the game and passes it to a teammate on the mid side of the field. I mean, it goes for the ball, and the Berlin player easily dribbles past him. Wake up, number seven! Uh-oh, that's not a great start. The game's barely begun. Give him a chance to shake off the cobwebs. He should be fine. You catch, you watch as Scale intercepts a pass from the Berlin player and boots the ball into Berlin territory. I mean, it hustles for the ball, ready in perfect position to score, and gets called offside. Oh, come on, ref! He was totally onside. Apparently the refs are going for loose interpretation of the rules today. That or they're completely blind. As the game unfolds, Berlin's play is aggressive, keeping the Dragons on defense and giving Amid a very few chances to touch the ball. Ah, oh, this is super frustrating. Get on offense, Dragons. No kidding. Come on, Amid. At least the Dragons have a solid goalie. Berlin's had far too many shots on goal for my liking. Glance over at Marissa and notice her biting her nails, looking distracted. Hey, you okay? What? Did I miss something? No, you just seem worried about something. No, yeah, I don't know. Part of me feels like I shouldn't even be out here having fun today. I have so much to sort out still. And I don't want to bum everyone out. But I also feel like I hadn't been such a mess last night. We could have gotten to me out on time. Hey, last night was a big night for you. It's gonna take you a little while to work through everything. It's okay if you need to talk about it. I know this isn't the best place, but sometimes you just need to get things off your chest before you can shut your brain off. And no matter what, I'm always here to listen. I think if I started unloading here, I'd totally lose it, but you're right. And hey, I mean, staying out is not your fault. You were going through something and you needed time, that's okay. Thanks, Tom. I don't know what I'd do without you. And I'm not gonna worry anymore today. I'm just gonna focus on football. Oh, that's the spirit. Turn back to the game to see Amid receive a pass from Gale. Yes, go, 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 go! Amid dribbles towards the Berlin goal and gets shrouded, shoulder to the ground by a Berlin defender. Come on, Amid. Spin around on him. Take him out. Show us your footwork. Amid does a bit of fancy footwork, takes a shot at the goal, and misses just wide. Ooh! You know, John, as far as football knowledge goes, you're really quite savvy. Press the with your football knowledge. You're surprised by this? Yes, yes, the arrogant Englishman can eat his words. Not all Americans are daft about football. Are you gonna cover more football games? Cause that would be awesome. Seriously, watching you guys better than broadcast. Gain followers, more followers. Man, that comes is no surprise at all. This isn't going very well. You're right, Samir. Clearly the dragon or the team needs our help. 
Come on, guys, drag guns. Dragons. Dragons. Crowd around you takes up the chant. Dragons. Dragons. The mayor joins in as well. Dragons. Yes, that's a spirit. Seemingly bolstered by your cheers, the dragons take the ball back into Berlin's half. Estevo passes the ball towards Amid, but Amid's timing's off, and a Berlin player takes the ball. What is wrong with you, Kabaz? Berlin quickly gets the ball into the dragon's half. Merlin's striker dribbles around the dragon's defender, shoots, and scores. No! The dragon's fan groans as Berlin team celebrates, and the referee whistles for the end of the half. You can see Amid's coach chewing him out on the sidelines. Man, that was less than inspiring first half. I know they can turn it around, can't they? I don't know, John. It looks pretty bad out there. I wish there was something he could do for me. He doesn't look like himself out there. He probably doesn't feel like himself either. He's running on almost no sleep and an empty stomach. John, that's it! What? What's it? A maid needs a miracle cure. A miracle cure for being yanked out of the game? I'm not sure that exists. Wait, do you think Amid's going to be yanked out of the game? After the half you just played, if I were his coach, I'd binge him. Not on my watch! Come on, I have a plan! Follow Marissa out of the sands and back into the stadium concourse. So, what does this plan entail exactly? It's our fault! Amid didn't have the coffee or breakfast this morning, so we're gonna fix that. With stadium food? I think... These arteries won't thank us. There aren't exactly a ton of healthy pre-game snacks to choose from. It's fine. He just needs fuel at this point. He can go back to eating well-balanced meals after he wins the game. Ah, fair enough. He marches over to one of the coffee carts. Excuse me, coming through. Caffeine emergency! One extra large, extra hot black coffee, please. Once you've secured the caffeine, you and your friends go on the hunt for food. We need protein and carbs. Anything that will put a little pep in a step. How about a snack vendor? Nope. The line is pretty long, and it's also not loaded with protein. Leave it to me. Where's the per person in the front of the line? I can't, excuse me, do you think it would be alright if I cut in front of you? No way, I've been waiting for 20 minutes! Well, it's for me, Kavaz. Please, we're his friends, and we totally screwed up this morning by not getting him anything to eat. Wait, really? Is that why he's playing so bad? I, I thought he looked kind of out of it. Yes, he really needs food if he's going to be able to play properly. Well then, by all means, go in front of me. We really need Amid to take control of this game. Thank you so much. You won't regret it. At the counter, you procure a few candy bars and some crackers with your arms full. And you turn back to your friends. Yeah, so much for protein. Mm, we've got carbs covered, but I think we need to get him some something more substantial. Let's try over that way. Four of you head over to another stall where tantalizing smell waves from the back of the stove. The veggie wrap would be perfect. And the line isn't too long either. Yeah, but look. Up ahead you see two fans arguing with each other at the counter. No, I got the large fry! My order came out before yours. Liar! It doesn't look like we'll be getting our food anytime soon. No way I'm handling this. March up to the two fans. Hey! Your fries are getting cold while you are here. Do you realize this, right? Oh man, I hate cold, soggy fries. You should take these while they're still hot. I can wait for the next order. Wow, thanks! No one should have to suffer through soggy fries. Oh, preach! Jeez. Ah, the moment that brings sports fans together. The gunner, you order the veggie wrap. After a few minutes, you triumphantly return to your friends. Package secure. Perfect. Gather your smorgasbord together and take a look at what you've concocted. We've got Doritos, candy bars. God, this is horrible. Man, this is either the best idea we had or an absolute worst. I guess we don't won't know until we try. Oh, ye of little faith. Come on, we better get this to a maid. You head back into the stands and hurry down to the front row by the dragon sidelines. As the players come out on the field, you wait frantically to get him and meet attention. Me! Over here! 
Maid has already you looking bewildered. Uh, what are you guys doing over here? We brought you a miracle cure. Wait, is it food? And a coffee, apparently. Before you could respond, I mean, he grabs the food and shoves a huge bite of the wrap into his mouth with an expression of bliss. This is literally the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. Here, we brought you caffeine, too. I mean, he takes a giant gulp with the, from the cups of mirror hands him. Oh, seriously. I've been drinking the uh, caffeine since the game started. I'm gonna build a statue in your honor. Just try not to lose your lunch on the field after this. That would be all enough for me. If I even make it back onto the field. Of course you will. It's the miracle cure. Can you cure miracle cure reverse time? Otherwise, I, I think I'm out of luck. How about I give you something for good luck? Like what? Like a high five. More specifically, my patented good luck high fives works every time. Let's hope so. I'll take all the luck I can get. Me, it gives you a solid high five and grins. You're right. I feel the power of good luck high five coursing through me. Go get him, champ. Mead heads back to the teammate, still scarfing down his miracle cure. Shut up, that was adorable and cheesy and mostly adorable. If I high fade on my Mead, I would literally never wash my hand again. <laughs> okay. Elliot suddenly pulls you aside. I didn't mean to do this before because I wanted to watch the game with the others, but perhaps there's... Well, there's a lull in the action. What is it? Would you like to join me in the private viewing box just until the second half starts? You have a private viewing box? Well, at Wembley Stadium in England, yes, I rented one here too. I honestly don't know why I continue to be surprised. Why not bring us all there? But I have always wanted to go inside one of those, and I'm sure it's something Yvette would approve of for the blog. So what do you say? I'd love to take a break from everything, spend time with you, and there's champagne. Impress your followers by visiting Elliot's private viewing box and share a romantic moment if you choose. And no. In the stands. I'd rather take everyone. I appreciate the offer, but I think we should stick with our friends for now. We don't want to miss a moment of Mead's game. Fair enough. Let's head back to our seats. When you return to the stands, you see Amid talking with his coach on the sideline, gesturing wildly. Eventually, the second half starts, and Amid goes back into the game. We did it, Amid's playing. Miracle Cure! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We still have to see how he plays. As the play resumes, it's immediately evident that Amid is feeling much better. He moves with more energy and doesn't miss a single pass, and within a few minutes, he's taken the ball down by Berlin's goal. Whoa. He's like a, a totally different player out there. Marked by two defenders, Amin manages to spin around and send a high, floating goal to Gale, who heads it in for the goal. The stands tremble as the Dragon fans roar with thunderous applause. Yes! Unbelievable. It, it actually worked. Yeah, that's what happens when you actually have, like, fuel in you versus starving. Both teams grow more aggressive as the game carries on, and with desperate long balls up for pitch, as the clock's near the 19th minute, the game is still tied, one to one. Deep in the Berlin territory, Amid Pat receives a pass from Gale, and is cut down by a Berlin player just outside the penalty box. Ooh! Red card, ref. That's right, get off the field, you punk. You high five Samir as the Berlin player is ejected from the game, and Amid lines up for a free kick. Amid, you can do it. You hold your breath as Amid stands over the ball, kicks it towards the wall of Berlin players, and it bends straight into the corner of the net for a goal. The crowd around you erupts in cheers. Goal! Ole, 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 ole. That's the game. The Dragons win. I should hug Samir. High five, everyone. Hug Elliot. Hi, hug Samir. Samir is still cheering wildly as you throw your arms around her for a hug. Samir squeezes you and type responds. He did it! He did it! You were right, John. I can't stop cheering. No one brings me out of my shell like you do. Hey, I just gave you a nudge. The awesomeness you have is all your own. Down on the field, the dragons are busy celebrating their victory by hoisting a mead on their shoulders. 
Cabaz, 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 Cabaz. Come on, guys, let's get a meet and go party. After the game, you meet up with Amid and his teammates at the hotel bar for a victory celebration. It's new music, guys. It's new music. Look, Pixelberry's actually trying. Amid, Gail, Estebo! John, everybody, get over here. Make your way over to the team, and Amid gestures for you all with a giant... Or greets you all with a giant bear hug. Well, 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 if it isn't the hooligans who delivered Amid to us, game hung over this morning. I wasn't hung over, you know I don't drink. We were just out late. Do we need to give you a curfew, Kabaz? No need, I'm never doing that again. Except for that part where you score the winning game winning goal, right? Okay, that is definitely I'm gonna be doing again. Here, here. What are you all drinking? First round's on me. Yeah, we have a toast to Amid officially still being on the team. Amid is officially staying on the Dragons. I knew they'd make the right choice. Congrats, Amid. Estebo distributes drinks, handing Amid his usual seltzer water. Why did they have to keep emphasizing that? For sakes. And you all clink your glasses together. What, because the fans cried to Amid? Yes. Amid! Amid. You and your friends happily dive into the first round in high spirits as you recount the dragon's victory. Later, you realize Amin has slipped away from the group and can scan the bar to see him over by the jukebox. You approach him and see that he's just flipping back and forth between the songs, not really looking at him. Having trouble making up your mind? Oh, um, actually, I just came over here because I needed to think for a second. I feel like I can barely wrap my head around it, that I'm still living my dream. I was thinking about sneaking away for a minute just to clear my head. Would you want to come with me? I could uh, use someone to talk about uh, all this. And, well, I think I have a few other things I'd like to do alone with you, too. I like how he insinuates that we've been strictly friends this whole entire book. Enjoy some romantic time alone with Amin and learn more about his football journey in this exclusive scene. No, stay at the bar. You should be around your friends and your team tonight. We're celebrating. Don't worry about having all the answers yet. They might just revel in your victory. You're right, John. I'm totally down to revel. We pick a song and let's dance. The next morning. You wake up to see that you missed a call and a string of texts from your vet. Hopefully it's good news. John, I hope you aren't out too late celebrating, because I booked a flight for you and your friends to Monte Carlo in the morning. I want you to cover the annual regatta for the Wanderlust. Your flight leaves at 10 a.m. sharp. Don't be late. I'll see you in Monaco. And before we're late... You hang up the phone and check the time, horrified to see that it's 8.45. Oh, no, not again. Everybody wake up. We have to catch a plane to Monte Carlo. What? What? Someone say Monte Carlo? Yes, you had booked us a flight there at least in an hour. Two days in a row, are you trying to kill us? Yes, less talking, more keep moving. Yes, yes, I'm trying to kill you too. Now, people. One frantic hour later, and your friends arrive at the airport, breathless and cranking as you. You mean crack, cranky? As you rush to the gate. There's no time to see the flight lifting off the tarmac. No. Okay, if it was one hour, that would be 9.45. Wonderlust is two out of four. Keep playing the plane more. Next time, when you make it to Regatta, find out in the next chapter. Yep. Speaking of which, I hope y'all did enjoy. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And down description below links to social media, Discord, and a few links to support me and my content. Speaking of which, you see that screen? It's all new, ain't it? Oh my god, it's cool, ain't it? So, uh, pretty much, uh, I want to thank all y'all. I should stop with the goddamn redneck accents, shouldn't I? I want to thank all of you, again, once uh, once again, for all of your support. Um, one, make sure your restricted mode is off, or you will miss a lot of my content on my channel. Secondly, um, you know, I want to thank people who are coming to Twitch more. Um, I encourage you to please do so. 
because, you know, if anything ever does happen to YouTube, um, pretty much, yeah, we're going to Twitch. That's going to be our, our outlet. Everyone, you know, gives suggestions about, well, you can create a new channel. I don't think you guys understand. Once I terminate your account, you can't. Like, I tried to, I tried to say that, and I mentioned it several times in the videos, and it's like, yeah, you, you literally cannot make a new channel, especially for, you know, monetization purposes and whatnot. Um, if YouTube terminates your account. That's just how it works. Um, unless it was completely under fan funding. Which, speaking of fan funding, it would be greatly appreciated if you guys would uh, do so. Um, I try my best. I, as you can see here, this is a brand new screen. And all my nerds, I work tirelessly on what I try and do. I try and give quality content to everyone who watches our content. And uh, try and bust my behind as hard as possible. So, please please consider supporting my channel. Um, there's links down below. There's the join feature on YouTube. There's cheering on Twitch. There's subscribing on Twitch. Um, things like that. So once again, thank you, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.